I generally find speaking very challenging because we think in Hindi and then we translate it to English and then we speak. So you have a dream score in your mind and you need to achieve that score to get a favorable application to your university. I would suggest everybody to use the right marker and the right duster and not get stuck on the last day. Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. Today I talk to Shreya. Shreya just took the TOEFL home edition. She was very successful and she wants to talk about her experience. Hi Shreya, how are you doing? I am well and this is very surreal. So I'm, I'm like very glad to be here. Thank you so much for coming. It's really amazing that you want to talk about your experience. First, tell us a bit about yourself. What are you doing and where are you from? Uh, hi, I am Shreya and I am a final year law student from National University Vishakhapatnam in India. And I am a currently an honor student, a BALLB uh, student. And I took the TOEFL to because I want to pursue further study uh, in the UK and the US as well. So because of that, I took the TOEFL as well. So you need the TOEFL for your applications, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, amazing. Shreya, you took the TOEFL home edition. What was your experience like? Um, it was, uh, to my surprise, it was a very smooth experience. And it was, I didn't realize how convenient it would be to take such a large scale exam and such a long exam for that matter. But it was extremely convenient to take it from home. And I did not have the option to go to a center because I live in a very uh, small, like a very, relatively very small and conservative area. So it would have required me to travel to a bigger city. So that is why I had to take the TOEFL test. But it was a great experience uh, if I talk about it. Yeah, that's great. Were you worried that there might be technical issues on test day? Yes, uh, there have been a lot of competitions that I take it, take, uh, took part last year and there were issues, technical issues. So I'm always apprehensive about that. And I was, I made sure I took a lot of uh, precautions when I took my test and there were certain technical glitches at some point, but uh, it was not as much to hamper my test or, you know, to, uh, you know, dev deviate my focus as such. So in the end, everything went fine. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. What was the interaction with the proctor like? Could you only write to your proctor in the chat box or could you also speak to him? No, it was, yeah. So it started with the chat box popping up and uh, them giving me instructions and me agreeing to whatever was uh, the pri privacy instruction or the takeover instruction. But there were times when the entire uh, process of the document verification was going on or the identity verification. That was the time they spoke to me as well. So uh, it was a mix of both. Freya, many people have asked me how people manage to erase their notes in the TOEFL Home Edition because there is this rule that you can only use one whiteboard or one transparency sheet. And this can be very stressful because there are not a lot of breaks. So my question to you is how did you manage to erase your notes? Uh, I it was a, a task because it becomes very difficult to call because the listening section is rapid. So as soon as you move on, the, te the listening section keeps coming up and you feel so you're supposed to make notes of it. So when I was practicing as well, I started practicing a week ago on my, uh, I took, used the transparent sheet method. So I, I started working on those and I started doing this thing where as soon as I would write my entire thing, and while I would type, like while I will select my answer for the listening section, I would just erase, also go on erasing my notes. So that would be a thing. And uh, just make sure before you, anybody, I would suggest everybody to use the right marker and the right duster and not get stuck on the last day. Like experiment with your markers, experiment with your dusters, see which is faster, which has less friction in terms of getting erasing it. So. I did all of those things. My stationery was on point, if that's the point I'm trying to make. So, and yeah, I was, I was very swift, with swift in terms of just erasing it and going on with it. So it is a task, but we have to, you know, make do with it. That's definitely excellent advice. Thank you, Shreya. Shreya, yeah. you got a really high TOEFL score. Congratulations again. That's really awesome. How did you manage to get such a great score? I, uh, I, I'm not sure if that's really a great score, uh, but thank you so much. So a, a lot of the credit goes to your channel, as I stated in my comment as well, that when it comes to, I had no idea that there was something called templates or there was something called, you know, 
a strategy when it comes to reading and elimination and so it was your channel that introduced me to the idea of it and then i i just went with your your uh, your tip to keep practicing and to understand that toefl is not testing your english knowledge of your english and to be intimidated by that but rather it's testing whether you can give this test or not so that was the approach i went with and i scored well in my reading and write uh, reading and listening section where i scored 28 each and then in for my speaking and writing i scored 25 each so i think uh, that is i i a lot of the credit is yours to your channel i cannot take a lot of it for myself so. <laughs> thank you so much i'm so glad the channel was helpful to you which video would you say was most helpful to you uh yeah so the i, I like we spoke about this earlier as well it was the home edition tips and i would regularly watch how to score the 115 plus uh, video in toefl and i also uh, like for my reading section i i used your reading section tip that was i think that's a 20 minute plus video so mm -hmm. i would thoroughly watch that so those three videos were really helpful in terms of getting my score i am glad shreya yes. was there a task on the toefl that you found challenging Yes, I think I I generally find speaking very challenging because it's just a fifteen to a thirty second prompt, and it's very difficult to collect your thoughts and follow a pattern and and speak. And because I'm an Indian, there's always an accent problem, or you know, trying to just to try to you know because we think in Hindi, we think in our local language, and then we translate it to English, and then we speak. so i think that became a problem and there was this question about a biological uh, a process and then i could not get the terms of it when i when i got my instruction so it took me a while to process and i tried to make up my own stuff as i could hear so i think maybe that was a bit of a stretch for me personally which task was the easiest for you up uh, surprisingly reading i mean i had four questions for it and it was rather long it took me it they had me they had given me a 72 minute stretch but the passages in terms of their approach were much easier than the ones i had practiced practiced before maybe because i had practiced practiced them so much but reading was comparatively easier i mean even more than writing though i enjoy writing but it was an easier section this time Amazing, Shreya. How did you feel immediately after the TOEFL? I was relieved. I was, I was genuinely relieved because the entire build up towards the test is extremely, it's it's very huge, and you know you know you you have a dream score in your mind, and you need to achieve that score to get to get to get a favorable application to your universities, and that is my only thing. I I'm not planning to do anything else. I know further studies is my uh, goal. so it was a pressure that i put up put up on myself and then as soon as i was done i was relieved and then i was just waiting for the 6 7 days to end and to get my scores as such well. and in the end you got your dream score and you can apply to your dream university that's really awesome congratulations again thank Shreya, you thank you so much for this interview thank you for giving us an insight into what your tofel experience was like and i wish you all the best for your application Thank you so much and thank you for your channel once again. I've said this like a million times but I'm going to say it again that it really helped me a lot in getting my focus and getting my uh, my strengths and my weaknesses aligned. So yeah. Thank you so much Shreya. I'm so glad it was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.